Hi, this is Andrew, and welcome back to Start Your Own Business in Malaysia series. Now, today I'm going to talk about how you can start your own consulting business from scratch. If you want to be a consultant, a coach, advisors, or a trainer, speakers, this video is for you. Now, I've been doing consulting business since year 2000, so it's already 20 years, and I've been to many different countries like 30 plus countries and here's some of the pictures you can see they've been doing consulting work training and consulting including coaching work for my clients in many countries in asia africa uh, middle east and many parts of the world so today i'm going to share with you some tips if you want to start your own consulting business let's jump right in you know, today, Start Your Own Business in Malaysia series, I'm going to talk about how to become a consultant. Now, this is a series of how you can start your own business in Malaysia. If not subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe to our channel right now so that you can have update of all different ways to create your own business in Malaysia. Now, just now I'll talk about my experience of 20 years as a consultant. I started my business from scratch and grow it to more than 30 plus countries. So today I'm going to share some tips that if you want to become your own consultant, you can also start your own consultant right from your home. I started it from my home too. First thing before you become a consultant, you need to identify. What do you identify? One, identify what kind of expertise that you do have, you see? And also, what kind of expertise means that what kind of skills and what kind of experience you have that can help your potential clients to achieve the results that they want. So second thing is that you need to identify the niche market. So when you have your expertise and then when you have your niche, so in between is basically is what you're trying to identify meaning that your expertise that the niche market wants yeah, and want to pay you for it. So this is very important. Now when it comes to expertise, sometimes your expertise doesn't mean that you have to have 20 years of experience in order to become a consultant. Your expertise means that it can be a very small skills that you are very, very good at. So. Now, when you say consultants, sometimes coaching, consulting, it comes together, especially in the Asia countries. So sometimes your consultants say they want consulting, but it may not be consulting work. It may be a coaching work. I'll talk about coaching and consulting work difference in a little while. Yeah? So when you have this expertise, it can be very, very unique skills. I have a friend who teach people just how to run. Yeah. Now, he is a coach. Now, sometimes he gives solution too. All right? So when you give solution, it kind of like you are a consultant. But he specializes in teaching people how to run. There are consultants that teach people how to design a user interface. You see, there are so many different types of consultants. So what you want is you can specialize in one area. Next. After you identify, you know your expertise and your focus niche market, then you can start develop your program. So your program, usually I will start with a simple, you can start with a training program. So a consultant, a lot of time, they started as a trainer, you see. Because while we train people on our systems, the system that we develop or want to implement so that they understand. Yeah? So once they understand, then we can upsell them to our coaching program. You see, when it's a short training program, I put it here DIY. DIY means do it yourself. I teach them and they do it themselves. You understand that? Right? Now, when it comes to coaching, Meaning that DWY is you do it with you. Yeah, so done with you. Okay, so coaching means that 
I will teach you and you start doing it and I will correct, I will guide you when you make mistakes and helps you to improve. I'm doing it together with you. That's coaching. The next thing is consulting. So consulting is that a lot of company, I want result fast. And a lot of time I encounter this type of uh, customers that they want to get results. They have certain problems, let's say cash flow problems, they will get me in and then help them to solve it within like five days. So those are so-called consulting work, meaning that it's done for you. So I just go in and do the job for them instead of I teach them or I guide them and so on. You see, but a lot of times in Asian countries, the clients, when they say they want consulting, it actually a combination of all these three. Meaning that I have to go in and train them first and then guide them as well as do the consulting work together with them. And then later on, they will take over and continue with the projects. You see, so training, coaching, and consulting, and a lot of time, especially for Asia clients, it comes together. Now, move on to the next steps. After you have your program ready, then you can start market your program. So in marketing, I develop a very simple system that helps me to generate clients. I used to start doing my marketing using cold calling, buying like directories. Then later on, I slowly change it to digital marketing or online marketing. So today I'm using online marketing as my marketing platform to generate leads for me or prospects. And then I will manually go and follow up with them for closing. Here's how it works. In Consulting business, first very important is you must have your branded website. Now, branded website today is not expensive. And if you do not have a branded website, do contact us. We have a special deals for you. You can get your branded website up very easily, maybe within just minutes. And then you can start market your consulting business. So because today, most companies, when they want to find you, they'll look at your website and your website really increase your credibility. Now, if you don't have a website, a lot of times people assume you are like freelance consultants or freelancer. Now, you do not want to be a freelancer to do a consulting work because the work that you're going to do is the same, but the fees that you're going to get is not the same. You understand me, right? If you invest in just like a branded website and a company, registered company, and then your fees will be so much different. So a branded website is totally a great investment for a consultant. I use my branded website. In fact, I have different, different websites depending on what programs I want to sell. And then it depends on where my customers are. Some of them, if they are in Facebook, Instagram, then I will bring the leads to my website. Or they are in LinkedIn, especially for B2B corporate clients, then I will bring them into my website or Google, yeah? So now these are the few key social media platforms that you can utilize today to generate leads. But the important thing is that bring them to your website and your website will more or less act as like your salesman and also filter. They qualify the leads for you if you know how to do it right, it generates leads for you day in and day out. And then I will go and follow up with them through messenger, through chats, through WhatsApp, through emails until I close them. You see, now don't make it so complicated. These are some simple ways that you can do. And in fact, you don't have to do Facebook, Instagram, Google, LinkedIn all together. If you know where your customers are, let's say big corporates, they are mostly in LinkedIn, spend more time in LinkedIn. You understand? So that's how I generate my customer list. So remember, you want to start your own consulting, there's three steps. First, identify expertise and your niche market. Second is develop your program, okay? can be a training, coaching, and consulting work. Third, you use online marketing tools 
or social media platform to help you market your business. It's that simple. Focus on doing these three and you can start your consulting journey. Now we do have a master class coming up soon in September and if you're interested to be a consultant, I encourage you to click on the link right below in the description or the link you can see right over here, hiandrucia.com slash consultants and register and once the program is open for registrar, we will inform you. Now consulting business is a growing business especially in Asia so if you're really interested this is a chance for you to really learn in details. Now all the things I'm going to teach you is from my 20 years experience. What I feel, what I feel to do, what is success. So you don't have to do trial and error and immediately you can start your business. Rather than like me, I do trial and error and it took me like three years to really know how to market and start my business. So I hope you like this video and if you've not subscribed to this video, do subscribe to it right now because we publish business tips every Tuesday and Thursday. So meanwhile, you can also watch our other videos right over here.